Welcome to another episode of Simo's Garage. I'm, I'm super excited at the moment. Uh, today is the day that my uh, V-Dub van arrives. I've just got a phone call from Siva saying that it's uh, on the truck leaving their depot and it's en route. So um, it's, uh, it's exciting. I haven't seen the car yet uh, in person. I've seen photos and that's it, but I haven't actually seen the car. So uh, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. Can't wait. This uh, felt like the walk of shame really, it, it wasn't the walk of shame, I was excited, I really wanted to get to the car to actually see what was happening. Um, this, uh, As I was walking up to it I was so excited but, but so nervous because I've only really seen the outside. The fellow was really great, he was a really nice fellow and uh, he said he got a lot of looks from the, from the car as, it, uh, as he was driving it along. Uh, you can see I'm getting around, touching each part of it, trying to trying to get my uh, uh, head around it, trying to see everything. Um, it was on the truck, so of course I couldn't do too much. I had to kind of wait for him to get himself sorted. Uh, but I'm just trying to take it all in. It, it really was kind of uh, information overload, so to speak. I was um, uh, just wanted to get it off the truck, really. That's that's all I wanted to do. We we did get it off the truck here in a minute, and. Um, uh, when we when he first got in the car, he was going to uh, start it and drive it back. And um, uh, the first of all, the uh, they did want to start or, or tried to start and then didn't. And he said that they had to jump it a couple of times to to uh, start it, get it on the truck. But um, uh, when we got uh, the second time we tried, the the key actually snapped off in the barrel. So the uh, the key itself just snapped in half, and uh, that kind of made it very difficult. So. Uh, we had to kind of go with something else and, and here we are uh, rolling the, the car off. Um, you know, I, I hadn't driven the car before, didn't know if the brakes were any good, didn't know if it uh, was going to hold. Um, it was um, it was interesting. Um, I was really just trusting his, uh, you know, words and uh, telling me that it was okay, it was going to roll off fine. Uh, which which it did, uh, you know, which I'm 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 happy about. Uh, nothing worse than bringing a car over from Victoria and um, <laughs> struggling to get it off the truck and falling it, uh, making it fall off the truck. But now I got off the truck and uh, so it was fine. Okay, so here we go. I've got the the rear barn doors open. Uh, this is the trick. This is what you want here. There we go. All the way back. Should have a little stopper there somewhere. Don't know if mine does. I might have to just pause there. Look at that. The barn door is open. Beautiful, beautiful. And then this one here. Again, let's see where this stops. There we go. Ah, beautiful. Great, great condition. Need some clean up. But uh, everything is as, as was expected, as was in the photos. This is just lovely, absolutely lovely. A whole nine seats, beautifully trimmed up everywhere. And here we go, there is the Samba roof. Look at that. I won't pull that back just yet. Uh, I wanna get the battery out and get that on charge and then I'll be able to take it for a little drive up and down the street. So that is just fantastically done. Absolutely brilliant. I'm really impressed. I'll get it started and hopefully she runs okay. Uh, let me get the battery out for us. So today in Perth is a really hot day. It's, uh, it's probably only 30 degrees but the humidity is right up there at uh, 60 odd percent. I'm, I'm sweating away here um, and I have really haven't done anything. I've just been walking around so I uh, apologise if I uh, smell. 
So that uh, hatch uh, that lifts up, it's a, it's a real neat little thing that uh, how it's held up there. Um, but working in this battery area, if you knock it, then the, the hatch just falls down on you. It was a real pain here in, in this corner trying to get the battery out. Um, obviously you're not intended to be working uh, on the battery or taking in and out very often, so um, they tuck it away right in the corner there. Um, hard to get out, uh, hard to work in there, but uh, there we go, finally out. I then uh, did get the car started, uh, drove it up the street to, uh, and back again, um, and then uh, I thought, oh look, I'll put it in the garage, but I um, uh, pulled up on the curb here a little bit further up than this and, and it stalled. Uh, tried to start it again, absolutely nothing from it, so uh, uh, I rolled it back a little bit, uh, maybe a little too far, close to the road there, but I thought, oh look, I'll, uh, I'll get a wash on it and get all the dust and dirt off it um, as carefully as I could, because of course uh, there's a Samba roof on top top there which uh, you can see is not closed properly. I couldn't actually get it to, to close all the way. There's a, uh, I need to do a bit of work on that, tidy it up. Uh, it's, it's a new roof and it's complete um, but a few of the little tabs where they clip in are not clipped in properly so um, uh, I'll have to get onto the Samba roof but that's a, that's a vital part. You've got to have that. Slide it open in the, um, uh, the summertime, the, uh, have the front windows open and, and um, really look the part of these, these V-dubs. So the wash was actually uh, was quite enjoyable because I was really seeing the, the car come up um, from all the dirt and uh, rubbish and grot and whatever and um, you know when, whenever you get a car I, I always think that uh, washing it first that's that's one of the most enjoyable things you you really get to know the car all the the little uh, idiosyncrasies and the, the the little bits and pieces that you want to work on and fix. Um, there's, there's the paintwork in, in uh, the majority of it is very, very good. Um, there's some things that haven't done been done quite as well, um, but very, very good. And um, the, the, where it lets it down is really in the door jams, actually. Um, they, they painted them, sort of. Uh, I'm going to uh, get them all tidied up. Um, also, the front door on the, the right there, the passenger side, doesn't close uh, particularly well. So I'm going to get uh, new door locks and uh, catches and whatever so that um, uh, they really close neatly. Uh, the rear hatch and the rear um, uh, engine cover close quite nicely. Um, the, the barn doors on the side just there, uh, they're not great, but the catches at the top and the bottom are, are not fantastic. So again, I'll get some new catches and, uh, and make sure they shut real neat and real nice. Uh, as I said earlier, it's really hot here today, so um, uh, I'm, I'm literally sweating away. I don't know why I wore a long sleeve shirt. That seems a bit of a silly move, but um, uh, I did anyway, and uh, I wasn't going to change, so uh, sweat away I did. Um, it didn't really matter. It could have been 50 degrees. I still would have been out there working away. Um, well, 50 degrees Celsius, over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. I would have still been working out there, um, getting over the, uh, the V-dub. There we go with the uh, front screens uh, up. They look fantastic. Fantastic. They really do look the part. So I'm excited to uh, to get it all cleaned up, get it into the garage, and uh, um, you know start to work on it. Uh, get a new battery for one um, because that uh, definitely needs to be replaced. It, it just cannot hold any charge. Um, but um, I'm really happy with the uh, with the car. Um, it could have been a complete nightmare. Um, although at this stage right now, I haven't had a good look underneath, but I had uh, following this, and um, it's pretty neat. It, it, there's a bit of work here and there to be done underneath, um, but it, by and large, um, the uh, the car is is absolutely fantastic underneath for a car that's 40 or 50 odd years old so um, we, we've got to be realistic in, in how we judge cars of this age. Uh, there's the first wash of the V-dub. Um, it's come up really well. Uh, there's lots of things that are not perfect uh, but uh, the broad acres of the paintwork are fantastic. The windows are great considering their age. They're all original windows, so we've got to give them a little bit there. Many of the seals have been replaced, but um, the windows are all original windows, all with VW inscriptions on them, many with Brazil written on them as well. I found out earlier actually that um, uh, this car might have come from South Africa. I found a little uh, cute little uh, bus on the, on the key ring, and then I had a look underneath and it says 17 R dollars, so 17 Rand, um, which it kind of makes sense. Um, it might have been exported from Brazil to South Africa and then sometime later on come to Australia. Who knows, maybe it's been around the world. 
But the van is looking really neat with the safari windows out, it all clean, ready to go. It looks fantastic. I took it for a drive just up the street and back again to turn it around. And uh, two things. One, it doesn't drive well. Uh, steering wise, it's all over the show. Uh, there's so much play in the gear stick. Uh, I, I think I'd struggle to get to more than about 50 kilometers an hour. Uh, it's, it's underpowered, it's wobbly, uh, it's struggled to start. Um, it's got a lot of problems. I took it just for a quick run up the street and back again, uh, pulled it up and I thought, oh look, I'll move my other car and I'll get it in the garage. And then I went to start it again and it struggled. It did start, I moved it to where it is and then it stalled, would not start again. So battery's on charge, has been for about an hour and a half. So I'll get that back in, uh, get the bus running, get it in the garage, and then I can have a look underneath and really kind of get to play with it. So super excited, so much to do. Uh, <laughs> so much is broken or not working well, but really I don't care. It's, it's, a, it's an absolute hoot. I can't wait to get this thing licensed and just cruise along in it. Anyway, thanks for watching Simo's Garage.